So good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. I'm here because I would like to break the wall of sepsis. Sepsis is a life-threatening disease, which is a major cause of morbidity and mortality worldwide, so it's a very big problem. Sepsis is mostly caused by bacterial infection, and this infection stimulates inflammation, and inflammation causes uh, organ dysfunction and death. Standard, uh, standard treatment of sepsis is hospitalization and intravenous administration of antibiotics. These antibiotics kill bacteria. However, in a lot of cases, this is not enough because still a lot of people die from sepsis. Why it is like this, we don't know. But what we know is that bacteria are not the only present in the bloodstream. Normally, we have DNA in our cells, in the, in the nucleus of our cells. But sometimes this DNA is released from the cell to the extracellular space, and this DNA is called extracellular DNA. And what, what we know is that in the blood of septic patient is a high concentration of extracellular DNA. And this could be a problem, because extracellular DNA is recognized by white blood cells and activate them and stimulate inflammation. And in inflammation, more and more DNA is released to the extracellular space. And this is, the, so this process is in the circle. And we wish to stop this circle. And our solution is DNAs. DNAs is an enzyme which cleaves DNA, degradate like this. So, no DNA, no activation, no inflammation and this circle should stop. And this is what we exactly did. We uh, induced sepsis in mice model, and we have three groups, as you can see in the picture in the right corner. And in the middle, we have a septic group, and uh, in, on the right side, it's a group which was treated with DNAs. And as you can see, the survival of mice was better after the treatment of DNAs. So this is the way how I would like to break the wall of sepsis.